All right, this is first grade module four, lesson 29, our final lesson in this module. Students are going to continue practicing adding a pair of two digit numbers, keeping in mind that we're not going to be using the standard algorithm until module six. So in this module, we're really focusing on helping our students develop number sense using alternative techniques that um, lead really nicely at when students get older, to mental math techniques, to adding two-digit numbers mentally. Uh, so this is a really powerful opportunity for our students to really cement the number sense as they're getting the answers, rather than just following a rule. All right, let's get practicing. So we've got just two pages full of just practice problems. And so what I'll do is um, I'll do some quick tens, I'll do some number bonds, I'll do some arrow methods. And really, you know, I think at this point, we really want to focus on number bonds or the arrow method. We want to try and get our uh, wean our students from drawing that using that pictorial method uh, simply because we want to gradually get to that standard algorithm, which means they're going to need to let go of the concrete and start embracing the abstract. So I think what I'm actually going to do on this problem is just jump straight to the number bonds. A couple of different ways that we can arrange those number bonds. Um, I think one of my favorites is just decomposing uh, based on the place value. So I'm going to decompose 16 to be 10 and 6, and then I'm going to add the 10s. So we've got 17 plus 10, that gives us 27. Then I'm going to take that 27, and we're going to add in the final 6 that we have sitting out there. And 27 plus 6 is 33. And how did we get 33? Well, some of our students might count on uh, 27 and then count on 6 more. Some students may add the 7 and the 6, get 13, and then add in the extra 20. There's a, you can actually run an entire number talk on this one problem alone, um, all the different ways that students can use to get the answer of 33 in this case. In fact, this would be a, a great thing to do is maybe eliminate some of the problems to do for homework and instead uh, conduct a number talk in the classroom. Another example, uh, we can do, um, oh, let's do number bond, only this time let's make the next 10. So I'm going to look at that 15, and to get the next 10, I need 5. So I'm going to decompose that 18 to be 5 and 13, and that gives me the next 10. So that tells me that 15 plus 5 is 20, so there's our next 10. Then I'm going to take that 20, and I'm going to add in this 13 that's still left out there. So 20 plus 13, and that gives me 33. And again, there's a variety of ways that students might go from 20 plus 13 and get the answer of 33. Uh, likely, they'll decompose 13 and decompose it to be 10 and 3 and add that 20 and 10 in their head and then get add in the, the remaining three. Moved over to the next page, that's why it suddenly says problem two, but it's really just more of the same. Uh, the idea is uh, here we're going to do 18 and 17. I think I'll be a little contrarian this time. I'm going to decompose the 18, so 10 and 8. And I'm going to add our 10. So I'm going to add 10 and 17. So that's going to be 10 plus 17. That gives me 27. Then I'm going to take that 27, and I'm going to add in the 8, because we still have the 8 there. And 27 plus 8 gives us 35, and that's our answer. Now, how did we get 35? Oh, some students might decompose 8 to be 3 and 5. 27 and 3 is 30, plus the remaining 5 gives us 35. That's one way. Keep in mind, this is not the standard algorithm. This is just an, a, a method based on number sense that is, helps students develop it, the ability to do mental math. Ultimately, students in Module 6 will indeed be using that standard algorithm. 
And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson 29, adding a pair of two-digit numbers using a variety of techniques.